So I'm Goku Sankey here at Disorder, and I'm joined by the wonderful... Jerry Williams. And you are nominated <laughs> You are nominated for which award tonight? Nominated for Best EP and Best Produced EP, which is amazing. So what's the difference between Best EP and Best Produced EP? Um, I guess one's more representing the round of the songs and one's more the sounds and... Yeah, it's very well, nice. So which one would you be more happy to win, would you say? Either would be amazing. I mean, I feel chuffed to be nominated, but I'd love to. Best CP would be amazing. And I was speaking to you just before. You said you've got all your family uh, up here <laughs> from Portsmouth. Most of them are here, yeah. So they're all here to support. And are they nervous? Are they all, like, just really excited? All really excited, and um, I think they're just really, just really proud and just want to support. Who's, yeah. Have they been your biggest, like, fans and cheerleaders in terms of, you know... The music that you've done? Yeah, I guess so. They've been there right from the start and followed my progress, so I guess uh, they've been there every step of the way. So, so tell me more about this progress, please, on your EPs, because you've released now two, and this, this is your is third, third third one yeah. coming up. So you did Cold Beer? Yeah, Cold Beer was the second one. Hairdressers Called Sis was the first one. And tell me about Cold Beer, because one of the things that I found fascinating is you seem to be able to write about anything, and this was about a night in London. <laughs> yeah, it was a, about a night in London. I was standing at a bar... And this guy walked past me with a, like, a bottle of beer and he put it on my leg. And I was like, ooh, what's that, you know? Uh, and that was it. <laughs> and then I just wrote a song about it, yeah. So do, you, do you write all your songs then? Or? Oh, yeah, I write all of them. And they're all from kind of personal experiences or, really you know, what have happened to my friends and family or whatever. I just kind of draw from everyday life. And That's really good. And you've been able to be privileged to work with some really good songwriters as well. So yeah. can you tell me more about that? Yeah, I've been really lucky. Um, I've worked a long time with this guy called Dan Brown. He's up in Bristol and he's worked with Massive Attack and Will Young and things like that. And Dan Carey, who's done Sia and Ray Morris, Nick Mulvey. I've just been really lucky to work with so many people. And Newton Faulkner. I just... Hey, wow, what was yeah, that like? He's lovely. And it, that was so good. That was one of the first writing sessions I did, actually. Yeah, and he just made me feel really relaxed. And he's just such a nice guy and his brother as well. And, and, and you've just been on tour with, was it Nathan Sykes? That was last year. Last year, last yeah. year. This year I've been on tour with Vanessa Carlton, which is cool. Are you actually serious? Yeah. How was that? That was amazing. And that was the first time I played shows like, in Europe and stuff as well. So. Oh, so you played all across Europe. What's yeah. it been like being on tour? It's amazing like to just play in front of new audiences every night and pick up new fans and you learn a lot about kind of the industry as well I guess so what so what have you what would you say you've learned um I've learned to just I don't know just go for it look after yourself look after your voice um just how to kind of like maintain your strength in singing and stuff as well I guess so it's all been a great experience um and you've got an EP let's let's just forget it yeah. right so now I was I was uh, listening to this and I was like the first line is your I've got a hurricane named after you or something yeah. like that. Who is this, who's, is this aimed at anyone? or Not in particular. It's just me and Dan, who I wrote it, we were just talking about how cruel the world can be sometimes. And, you know, like, obviously, hurricanes are named after people's names and stuff. And mm -hmm. I just thought it was just quite a cool line. It just came pretty naturally. But it's not about anyone in particular. Yeah. But um, Quite emotive, then, though. You're quite emotive, yeah. I guess the whole song is just about how the world is and just how feelings can be like really turbulent with somebody and mm -hmm. yeah have you, have you got a boyfriend at the moment no single out there if you're out there <laughs> jay williams is single and ready to mingle <laughs> no i'm joking so um the last couple of questions um this is i asked this to everyone yeah if you're a superhero what would your power be it would be to heal people oh have you had that before oh god this like love guru just like love change the world <laughs> to heal people yeah of course yeah okay if you're an animal what would you be then I don't know, probably an elephant. I've always loved elephants. So. <laughs> elephant. Yeah. Good memories. They have really, yes. really good memories. Yeah. So, and can you tell us more about what you're going to be doing later? Your albums, your EPs, your future EPs coming? Uh, I'm going to be releasing more videos and, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep, see what happens with it. And you're on tour currently, as we speak? Yes. Over now. That was uh, a couple of weeks ago, which it just went really, really good. And it was yeah. great. Yeah, I loved when's it. it. When's your next tour? Have you got one booked or Not yet. more time for songwriting? I know. Yeah, more time songwriting. I'm excited to get back into the studio. I kind of feel like I'm really inspired at the moment. I've got lots to write about. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank this you. is Jerry Williams. Go kiss Lanky. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Good luck as well. Thank you.